on the school choice front, I think it's important for people to know that as one of two states that have not passed any school choice policy, we're being very um, intentional and incremental in our growth here. So our program is a tax credit program. We have over 30 tax credits in Nebraska. This is another one. That's essential because it does not touch the public school funding formula. In order to have school choice, you need strong schools everywhere. We are not looking to damage the public schools. They are vital for society. A tax credit program, like any other tax credit, is simply an incentive to a donor. It's an incremental positive step. That does not hurt public As a matter of fact, it helps public schools because they find themselves in a market where they have to compete. So it's a good. Plus, a tax credit brings money back to the state, typically $1.50 um, for every dollar invested in it. And you have to consider with uh, 27,000 Catholic school students and nearly 40 non-public across the state, we save the state over half a billion dollars annually just by, because not, the public schools don't have to educate us. So the first thing I would say is that the bill is smart and deliberate. The second thing I would say is it completely is steeped in Catholic social, tradition, uh, Catholic social teaching because it empowers parents as the primary educator. It focuses on local control. The child's going to pick the school, so subsidiarity is, is key. And most importantly, it gives preference or priority to the poor and vulnerable. It's tiered so that the first students eligible are at 100% of poverty or lower, then 185%, then 213. Children who have been bullied, harassed, assaulted, they um, are eligible for this. The children of military victims or military families, um, those killed in the line of duty, foster children, they're all included in this. So it's very, it's very much steeped in sort of like the proper order for how we should execute school choice.